Welcome to The View, where we center our news around you. In this week's episode of The View, we have announcements, video segments, sports, tech talk, and a look at what's happening in our Bear Nation today. The View starts now. What's up, Bears? It's Friday, February 26th. I'm Sophia, and I'll be hosting The View today. Did you know that next Tuesday will be a digital learning day for all? You will be required to log in and complete your assignments for the day. We would like to bid a heartfelt farewell to our associate principal, Mrs. Tamaya Ra. Thank you for everything that you've done for our school. While we are excited about your transition to the district office CTE, we will miss you dearly. Yes. Do you have a special talent? The student leadership team is looking for students who would like to perform during international night here at Mountain View. Please scan the QR code on the screen to sign up or visit mbhs underscore slt on Instagram. We must find the time to smile. This week's joke is, how much room should you give fungi to grow? As much room as possible. Club advisors and presidents, the hard deadline to submit your club rosters for publishing in the yearbook is today. Please be sure to send those to Mrs. Jennings. Well, Bears, that wraps up the announcements updates for this week. Let's go to Morgan for sports updates. Sophia. Hi, Ray Nation. Welcome back to this week's sports. I'm Morgan, and I'll be bringing you the schedules, scores, and updates for our winter and spring sports. We would like to send a huge round of congratulations to the varsity competition cheer team for winning the first ever region championship in Mountain View history. Be sure to congratulate them if you see them. Way to go, Bears! In tennis news, we played Winder Barrow on Thursday and did an amazing job. Our next match is March 2nd against Mill Creek at Mill Creek. You won't want to miss it. In soccer news, we play North Gwinnett tonight, February 26th at North Gwinnett. Girls play at 5.30 and boys play at 7.30, so drive out to support our Bears. Our girls lacrosse have a home game tonight, February 26th against Greater Christian Academy at home at 7.30, so come out and show some support to our Bears. Well Bears, that concludes our sports updates for this week. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Now to Miss Booker for our Black History Month wrap up. Hey everyone, I'm Miss Booker and we're gonna close out our Black History Month. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time for recognizing their central roles in US history. It's also known as African American History Month. The event grew out of Negro History Week. That was the brainchild of Notes historian Carter Woodson and other prominent African Americans. Since 1976, every U.S. president has officially designated the month of February as Black History Month. Other world countries, including Canada and the United Kingdom, also devote a month to celebrating black history. Spurred by growing racial violence in the early 20th century, and particularly by the 1908 race riots in Springfield, Illinois, a group of African American leaders joined together to form a new permanent civil rights organization, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, known as the NAACP. Jack Johnson became the first African American man to hold the World Heavyweight Champion boxing title in 1908. 
He held onto the belt until 1915. John Mercer Langston was the first black man to become a lawyer when he passed the bar in Ohio in 1854. When he was elected to the post of town clerk for Brownlim, Ohio in 1855, Langston became one of the first African Americans ever elected to public office in America. While Rosa Parks is credited with helping to spark the civil rights movement when she refused to give up her public bus seat to a white man in Montgomery, Alabama in 1955, inspiring the Montgomery bus boycott. However, the lesser known Claudette Colvin was arrested nine months prior for not giving up her bus seat for white passengers. Thurgood Marshall was the first African American ever appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court, serving from 1967 to 1991. George Washington Carver developed 300 derivative products from peanuts. Among them are cheese, milk, coffee, flour, ink, dyes, plastics, wood stains, soap, linoleum, medicinal oils, and cosmetics. Hiram Rhodes Revels was the first African American ever elected to the U.S. Senate. He represented the state of Mississippi from February of 1870 to March of 1871. Shirley Chisholm was the first African American woman elected to the House of Representatives. She was elected in 1968 and represented the state of New York. She broke ground again four years later in 1972 when she was the first major party African-American candidate and the first female candidate for the President of the United States. Madam C.J. Walker was born on a cotton plantation in Louisiana and became wealthy after inventing a line of African-American hair care products. She established the Madam C.J. Walker Laboratories and was also known for her philanthropy. In 1940, Hattie McDaniel was the first African-American performer to win an Academy Award, the film industry's highest honor for her portrayal of a loyal slave governess in Gone with the Wind. On April 5th, 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first African-American to play Major League Baseball when he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers. He led the league in stolen bases that season and was named Rookie of the Year. Robert Johnson became the first African-American billionaire when he sold the cable station he founded, Black Entertainment Television, BET, in 2001. In 2008, Barack Obama became the first African-American president of the United States. In 2021, Kamala Harris became the first female vice president, the highest ranking female official in U.S. history, and the first African-American and Asian-American vice president. This concludes our presentation for Black History Month. See you next time. Now back to Sophia. As we close out our show, do you have news you want to have featured on The View TV? You can now submit announcements to be featured on The View. Scan this QR code to access the form. Thank you for watching. My name is Sophia and you've been watching The View. Tune in again next week for more updates on what's going on in the Bear community and more. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram and Twitter page at MTNViewHSTV for any updates throughout the week. As you go about your day, always remember, life is like a stage and someone is always watching. Stay excellent, Mountain View.